So hello everyone. Welcome back to Ruben Mathis Ramchan. Today we are here at Ria Auto Link Tata near Bogville to take a look at the Tata Nexon. This has been the most selling SUV in India since last three years and more than 7 lakh of Tata Nexon SUVs have been sold in India. When we first come here, we can have a look at the sequential LED DRL which look great. Beneath it, we get projector LED headlamps. Beneath it, we get LED fog lamp. When we come here, we have a look at the front parking camera for the 360 degree camera coverage and the front parking fences too. There is also a machine grill beneath it. In total, the overall car looks very futuristic and with cuts and curves in the front. When we come to the side of this car, we first notice 16 inches of alloy wheels which look smart. Behind it, when we come, we have a look at the black wall games with the turn indicator. This also gets the 360 degree side camera. We get the door handles body colored. And you can also see a long cut that continues all over the car. The roof light is very much like coupe. When we come to the back of this car, we first notice sharp LED connected tail lamps over here, which look smart. Above it, we find the rear dimnesser. The rear wiper is hidden under the spoiler. Rear Autolink mentioned over here. The Tata logo. Beneath it, we have the rear camera for 360 degree camera coverage. The Nexon badge mentioned. Beneath it, we get the rear sensors and the silver skid plate beneath it. In total, the car looks very smart from behind and it is very wide. When we come to the boot of this car, we first notice this car has a huge boot space. This has a capacity of 382 liters. We also get a 12 watt charging socket behind, at the behind, which is good, and a rear light too. When you first come to the interior of this car in the first row, we first have a look at the two spoke steering, which gets an illuminated Tata logo with a boxy look. The steering wheel has a glossy finish on it, which looks good but can be difficult to maintain afterwards. We here get a 10.25 inches of instrument cluster which is crystal clear and has the feature to customize it too. When we come here, we get a 10.25 inches of infotainment screen which has a great quality and has a great UI too and is easy to use. Beneath it, we here get the climate control of the car. Beneath it, we get a 12 watt charging socket, a USB type A port and a USB type C port which is 5 watt. When we come to the seats of this car, this car offers very comfortable and firm position so you can travel long journeys on the seats. The front two passengers also get ventilated seats. When we come to the features that this car offers, we get an inbuilt air purifier, cooled glove box, paddle shifters, driving modes like Eco, City, Sport, Sunroof, Alexa Home, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cruise control, ventilated seats, auto rain sensing wipers, wireless charging pad, a pair of 8 JBL speakers which sound great, etc, etc. This car has been rated 5 stars by Global NCAP because it has 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, ESP, SOS function, 360 degree camera coverage with sensors, 3 point seat belt for rear passengers, Isofix style seating, tire pressure monitor, blind view monitor, etc, etc. When we come to the second row of this car, we first notice the knee room is good, the thigh support is good, the headroom is okay, the seats are comfortable and firm, we can travel long distances in it, the center armrest is well positioned so you can keep your hand comfortably. We also got twin cup holders here. The AC vents are also present here. Beneath it, we also get USB Type-A and USB Type-C ports. 
three people can fit easily in this car and travel a long distance. In the second row, the rear seats get pressure sensors so it beeps if you have not tucked in the seat belt. This car offers two engine types. First, three cylinder 1199cc turbo petrol engine with 120 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque. The second option is four cylinder 1497cc turbo diesel engine with 115 horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque. But both the engine feels sufficient for the car and none of them are underpowered. If we talk about the driving experience of this car, we first notice the car is very comfortable and can travel long journeys. The suspension of this car are also pretty impressive. It handles great at cuts and corners. The automatic transmission gear shifts are very smooth and aren't felt in the cabin. The diesel engine makes a bit of a noise. The manual version, the clutch needs to be pressed hard for changing gears, which gets tiring sometimes. When we talk about the dimension of this car, the length of this car is 3,995 mm, the breadth of this car is 1,804 mm, the height of this car is 1,620 mm, the wheelbase of this car is 2,498 mm, the ground clearance of this car is 208 mm. When we talk about the average of this car, this car offers an average on a petrol engine is 17.44 kmpl and the diesel variant offers 23.23 km per litre. When we talk about the price of this car, this car has been offered in India at an ex showroom price of from 8 lakhs till 15.8 lakhs ex showroom. If we talk about my verdict on this car, this car offers great features at a great price point and is very comfortable, but it still lacks some features like it doesn't have ADAS system and the engine is not as powerful as the other competitors. So, my conclusion on this car is, if your criteria for buying a car is comfortable, offers decent performance, has great features at a great price point, you should definitely consider this car and buy it. This car was lent to us by Ria Autolink Tata near Bhopal, Amli Road. Thank you.